made a number of movies as a swing dancer. And she got her very own SAG card. She was in a movie called Swing Fever. And then she was in Groovy Movie, which is kind of a, a cult classic. And then uh, after that, she, uh, she made some other movies. That, uh, uh, the Horn Blows at Midnight with Jack Bandy. There's a bunch of stuff where she's a swing dancer. And then after the war, she became a showgirl in Las Vegas. And, uh, and then she married a very famous ballroom dancer named Frank Bellows. And Frank at, was, uh, at the time, Frank and his uh, first wife, uh, Yolanda, uh, were considered the best ballroom dancers in the world. And they had the, the, world, I think the record for the, the Hollywood Palladium with 30,000 people going to watch them. And they held that record until the Beatles broke it in the 60s. And the Hollywood Bowl. Hollywood Bowl, sorry. I know there's a Palladium out there. But, uh, but when I was talking to, I, every time I, I think Jean and I, Deborah and I have known Jean for 20 years at least now. We met her in Germany a very long time ago. And uh, we were thinking, man, she's old now. And she just turned, uh, <laughs> She turned 90 this past March. And, uh, and in a couple of years, she'll be Deborah's age. So, you guys are really sad. So, I was, so I've, I've known Jean for a while, and we, I always like to ask Jean, like, uh, stupid, what did you do during the war questions? So she was telling me, a few years ago that when she was in Vegas in, in the 40s, when she was meeting uh, Bugsy Siegel, the mobster. And I was thinking, that's so cool, they have a, a Bugsy Siegel story. And I said, what did you think about Bugsy? She said, very handsome man. <laughs> Until he got shot by the mob. Uh, but then, yesterday, today I was having lunch with her and I was showing this, the internet to Jean, which is kind of a scary thing, and, and I showed her IMDB. And I said, look Jean, you're on here. And I went to uh, Frank Veloz's site, and I said, look, Frank, was an understudy for uh, George Rapp in the 1920s and 30s. And he, and it said on the website, it said, oh, they were able to get dance jobs, uh, for Frank and his first wife, at the Cotton Club because they were good friends with Dutch Schultz. And then Gene says, yeah, but they had to leave the country because Dutch was kind of crazy. And they could only come back after Dutch was shot to death. And I'm like, oh, Gene, you're like mobbed up. You're like really mobbed up. So she's got these great mob stories, so be very nice to Jean, otherwise she'll put a hit on you. So, Jean and I have a good little dance, and we hope this inspires you. She's going to be teaching a little workshop with me tomorrow at the Sherwood Center, watch the movies, we'll have a little chat with Jeannie, and then we'll uh, teach her how to do crazy stuff. But we would not be who we are today as dancers uh, without Jean being so kind to instruct us and show us how it really goes. You can only learn so much off the internet. And she's uh, not only been a good friend to us, as a dance instructor, she's just been a good friend. And I think all of you who've known her coming here all these many years, she's just the best. And I want you to put your hands here for my friend, Jean. Yeah.